Hello my friends, it's Michelle. How are you guys? I have missed you so much. I've been on a two or three month break from YouTube and I'm so sorry that I kind of disappeared without any warning. I did mention over on my Instagram page that I was going to be taking a break for a while. Um, things just have been really hectic and stressful and challenging over the last couple months. And when there's so much going on in my life, I tend to retract from all social media. I haven't really been watching videos. I haven't really been on much social media at all. Um, I feel like when you guys come to YouTube, you want to be entertained or learn something or see happy people. You don't want to see somebody complaining or stressed out or, you know, just in a bad mood. And that's kind of how it's been the last couple months. So my choice was just to kind of pull away until I'm ready to come back. And I thought today we would just put on some makeup, do a quick get ready with me. I know my face. Whew. I'm tan, can you tell? I've been spending a lot of time in the sun. My face is broken out, but I thought I would put some makeup on today for the first time in what feels like a really long time and just chit chat and talk about what's been happening and uh, what's been going on with me. So if that sounds fun to you, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I just pulled you a little bit closer to me so you can see what we are doing. Y'all, my face is so broken out. I think it's that mask acne that has really got my face so irritated, like right up in here, the worst acne that I've had in a long time. I usually do have breakouts, but I just feel like these masks are really doing something on my skin. But anyways, here nor there, how are you guys doing? How have you been? I've missed y'all so much. It's really just been, it's been a crazy, crazy last couple months. You know, before I get started, I do just want to say that I know there are so many people hurting right now. There are so many people going through hard times and I don't want to come off as complaining because there's always someone that has it harder than you, you know? And I, I definitely have been trying to keep positive. I've really been trying to keep a good attitude, but it's just been really hard. I should probably also mention that this will probably be a pretty long video if I had to guess. I got a lot to gab about. And, you know, I'm using like this, for example, y'all, I hit pan on something. I'm so excited. This is the NARS Crystal Translucent Powder that I use to set my makeup. I finally hit pan on something. I'm so excited. But if I forget to tell you what I'm using, I will have everything listed and linked below. So first off, I want to break into this bad boy right here. This is the makeup brush set that Sigma came out with in collaboration with my best friend here on YouTube, Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I was so incredibly excited and proud for her. I just, I couldn't be happier that she came out with her own brush set collab. I have not used it yet. I was a little bit disappointed because when I got this in the mail, the package is all crumpled up. It came open and I'm like, oh my gosh, I bought this to have as a keepsake forever. Um, and it came all damaged. Now the brushes inside are totally fine, but the packaging, which is the most important part, and the whole reason that I bought this was all crumpled. Anyways, that's what we're going to use today. And I'm also going to be using this new palette that I bought from Sigma as well. This was on sale when I purchased the brush set. This is the new Corda Rosa palette. I've used it a couple times and I have to say I'm in love with it. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube. They are right up my alley and I just, I love it. I love the colors, I love the quality, and I thought I would use my new brushes in my new palette. It's been a while since I've bought anything new, y'all. I got laid off the end of May and I have not been able to buy anything. And for me, as a shopaholic, it's been really, really tough. Here are these five gorgeous beauties and here's the insert that was inside the box. Look at that picture. Is she not gorgeous? I just, 
I'm so happy for her. What I'm gonna do is also leave the um, video that she did for the brush launch um, down in my description bar so you can go watch it. She talks all about why she chose the brushes that she chose, what they're used for, what they're made of, all that good stuff. But you know, I have to say, because I have had Sigma brushes for years and years and years, the quality on these brushes is second to none. They wash so well, they stay, they keep their shape. They are amazing quality brushes. You know what is so awesome too? She actually sold these out. I don't think they're in stock right now, but I do know that there is a new restock coming. So check the website, go talk to Mary, see if she knows any anything on the timing, but um, I am really, really happy to use these. Y'all, I'm out of practice. I started doing my eyes and looked up and this was not filming. Anyways, so we are here in with the palette. I also want to mention that you get a beautiful quality double-ended Sigma brush in this palette. I think that is super cool, but I love how pigmented and blendable these shadows are. So let's see. Did you guys notice my short hair? This is called a quarantine cut given to me by my daughter. So a couple months ago, um, maybe like back in May, I had my husband, that's when we were totally in house. We were not going anywhere, doing anything. I had my husband and my daughter cut my hair and then they did my highlights. I got one of those highlighting caps from Sally's and I had them pulled through my hair and they did highlights on my hair and they did a great job. So last, I guess it was last week, I'm like, you know what, I need to trim again. And I was having my roots grow out. It was not very pretty. And I said, hey, I need another trim. So my daughter's like, okay, yeah, sure, no problem. She, she cut off like four inches. I was so freaked out. I was like, oh, oh my God, that's a little bit shorter than, <laughs> than I had wanted. But I ended up evening it out myself. We did highlights, more highlights, and I think it looks pretty good. My husband's like, Michelle, it's summertime. It's 100 degrees in Texas. You know, just go with it. I'm like, you know, you're right. It'll grow. So what a crazy year. I mean, I don't think anyone could have ever imagined what has transpired this year. Obviously, the spring was really hard with everybody being in quarantine. Um, Texas has been pretty lax about um, mandating masks. They opened up things a little bit too early, I think. And now we are in a position that we are one of the hardest hit areas, one of the hot spots in the country. And hearing, um, hearing about the coronavirus on the news, hearing about our situation, it drives my anxiety to another level and I just like I want to obviously be informed but watching the news over and over and over I, I just can't do it it really really gets to me so I've been trying to you know ask my husband just to give me the most important information but I really have been trying to not dwell on it it has been hard on my kids this summer. You know, they want to go out and hang out with their friends. They want to go to the pool. They want to do all the fun summer stuff that we really just have not been able to do. So it's been a challenge having them here um, just, you know, entertained and just getting used to this way of life. It's just been hard for all of us. So the end of May, I was notified that I was going to be losing my job. And, you know, we, we kind of had been hearing, obviously, there were slowdowns everywhere. And I thought it might be coming, but <laughs> you're never really prepared for it until the day comes and you're like, oh my God, this is real. Shoot, what am I going to do? You know, you kind of plan for it, you kind of prepare for it, but... It's never easy to go through. This job that I have had for the last six months, I absolutely loved. I was working for 
uh, a manager that I had previously worked for. Um, and I finally found a job that I could see myself in long term. You know, like maybe this is somewhere that I would like to retire. But uh, because I work in HR and recruiting, when companies are not hiring, there's no need for people to hire them. So I, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I applied for unemployment the day after I was laid off. And that was, I think like May 31st was my last day. So June 1st, I uh, applied for unemployment and I didn't get my first unemployment check until last week. It was five weeks. It was stuck in processing. They were that backed up that I didn't get any type of unemployment for five weeks. So hold that thought real quick. I wanna mention that I had to go, when I was at Walmart, and buy a darker shade. I know, a darker shade of foundation. I have been out in the sun quite a lot this summer and none of my foundations match me. So I got a different shade. This is my Holy Grail foundation, Maybelline Superstay. Um, I got the color 118. I don't have a darker concealer, so I found one that I think is probably the darkest one in my collection. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is the Infallible um, Pro Glow. Let's see what color this is. Oh, it's 01 Classic Ivory. I'm gonna go downstairs and my husband's gonna be like, um, where are you going? You haven't worn makeup in months. So now that we are in June, June 17th brings my 51st birthday. It was, it was a, a pretty good day. I mean, you know, I didn't really do much. We didn't really celebrate too much. Um, but my friend Mary sent me this awesome gift. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Look how big this is. She got me the color number two, which is perfect for my skin tone. I was a little bit worried that it was gonna to be too dark for my fair skin tone, but it is absolutely perfect. It blends awesome and I have absolutely been loving this. So this was really one of the only gifts that I got for my birthday. Again, with being unemployed, we really kind of tried to downplay everything. We didn't do any big celebration or gifts or anything, but this was a very, very special gift that I got. After my birthday in June, our air conditioner went out. And I'm like, great, that's exactly what we need. Unemployed and we had to spend, I think it was $1,600 on a new air conditioner. And then the week after that, my husband had an accident. And it was one of the most stressful, scary, scariest times that I had been through in a really long time. So, what had happened was one day, Saturday, it's been four weeks ago today, um, my husband was up on a ladder in our hallway changing our batteries in our smoke alarms. Ooh, I love that color. I'm using the Physician, no, yeah, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the color Rosy Pink. This is probably my all-time favorite blush ever. It doesn't look like much in the pan but it just really, really makes your skin feel so, so alive. It just brightens it up so much. Anyways, so my husband, he was up on a ladder and I was actually in the next room with my daughter. We were sitting on the couch and I asked him several times, do you need help? No, oh, no, 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 I got it. He was in this little hallway. Long story short, he fell off the ladder and started screaming. We ran in there and he was on the floor, um, terrified. He had passed out. I was terrified <laughs> when I heard him. He was passed out. He came to right after. We had to call 911. The ambulance came. My kids were home. It was so traumatic for them to see the paramedics come in. Um, he was taken into the nearest hospital via ambulance. I could not go into the ER with him due to COVID. 
So we ended up staying outside. We waited outside in my car for, I want to say, three or four hours until the nurses came out to give us the prognosis that he had five to six, she wasn't sure at the time, five to six broken ribs and three broken vertebrae um, and bruises all over. I'm happy to say four weeks later, we went on a walk this morning, four miles. He is back. He's recovering. He's doing so much better. He actually spent four days in the hospital. He had some complications while he was in the hospital, but luckily, knock on wood, those have all worked themselves out. Um, he had uh, blood on his lung from the puncture of one of his ribs. Uh, it was a, a really, a really scary time that first week uh, while he was in the hospital, not gonna lie. I mean, it was, it was pretty, pretty intense. But again, I'm happy to say he's doing well. So many people have reached out. Um, sent prayers, meals. I mean, we really are so blessed. Uh, he was in a wheelchair for the first week, then he went to the walker, and now obviously he's he's okay. But uh, luckily we had my mom's friends um, that were able to help give us the walker and the wheelchair, and we had like a, a lift for our toilets. Um, just, you know, things that made his life so much easier. I'm using the Wayne Goss. This is the new lip pencil in cinnamon. Again, my friend Mary, she sent this to me because it's cinnamon. I love the color. It's a beautiful kind of brick red color. Luckily, my husband, he's been able to work from home. So he went to work a week after uh, he was in the hospital. So that's good, but you know, his job, he works for a company that is booming right now. He works for an industry that is completely crazy busy right now. So he has been stressed out, obviously, with trying to recuperate and get better, but he's also been really stressed out with work. So luckily, he's got a great job that is secure, as secure as it can be right now. Um, but he's, again, doing so much better, and I'm just so happy that we are finally to this point that I'm hoping now we can just have nowhere to go but up. I got this new ColourPop lip gloss. It's called the Lux Gloss. This is in the color Stang Up. Y'all, I have not even used this. I bought this, I think, around my birthday time. I got a gift card for my birthday and I bought a couple things. I don't love the smell. It's very fruity. I don't love the smell. Hmm. But I do like the way it, it feels. Pretty. With the stress of looking for another job, I've really just been trying to keep as busy as possible. Obviously, looking for a job every day, but I've really been trying to take this time to spend with my kids. Um, we've been spending a lot of time outside. I have like a little above ground pool that I got for our backyard. We've been enjoying that. Um, I've really been trying to take time and spend with them. It's been actually really nice. I've gotten more sun. Look at this. I've gotten more sun this summer than I probably have the last couple. Um, I've been using my sunscreen, but you know, being out in this Texas heat, it does tend to turn my skin. So um, it's been really nice. It's been kind of that silver lining that you never expect, but um, it has been pretty nice. I am pretty stressed out about the plan for the kids to go back to school. Um, I know that that has been a huge topic of debate over the last couple weeks about what the school districts are doing and what our school district has decided is they're going to have the first three weeks be all virtual and then make a determination what um, will happen from there. We did have the option of choosing either having the kids go virtual or have them in person. But what they've done now is just have everyone go virtual for the first three weeks. And then if you chose in person, then you can hopefully go after the three weeks. And, you know, hopefully this pandemic is a little bit more under control then. 
So I can only hope that the school situation really works itself out. Um, it, it's just, it's so hard. My daughter's going into her senior year and she's in drill team. So, you know, we don't know if number one, there's gonna be a football season. That's what she looks for the most. We don't know how they're going to practice their dances. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff still up in the air and I think things are really just still changing daily. And it's just something that we are going to have to be flexible to. I just hope, I hope and pray that the kids will get some kind of normalcy this year. Both of my kids are going into high school. Um, my son is going into ninth grade. This was going to be his first year of high school and to have it start off being so weird and uncertain, that's kind of a bummer. And then, like I said, my daughter's already stressing out, stressing out about her drill team season and all of her senior classes. So ah, we continue to say lots of prayers that everyone has a smooth transition back to school. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. I love how everything turned out. I love the eye color. I love the way that they performed. I love the lipstick color. I feel very bronzy and summery and pretty. And this is the most makeup that I've had on for probably two months, but I am loving it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little chatty get ready with me. I got ready and I've got nowhere to go, but that's okay. I'm really, really happy that I'm kind of back in the groove and I can't wait to start making more videos for you. I can't promise that I'm going to be on any set schedule. I was doing like my every Friday and Saturday uploads. I right now I'm just going to film when I can film and upload when I can upload. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Maybe once again, you know, going into the fall, I'll get on a more regular schedule. But for now, I hope you're okay with me just uploading whenever I can. Um, things may be a little bit different. You know, I can't go out and buy the latest and greatest. Um, I can't go do my Walmart hauls like I loved, even though I've been to Walmart several times. Um, I've got to be pretty selective in what I buy. I appreciate you guys joining me so much. It's great to see you again. I hope you hang in there with me. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.